Hey folks, welcome to this video in which I'm going to actually introduce you to uh, SketchUp, which uh, in Ecom we are currently using for the Building Blocks project. So um, I've shown you some examples of how students have turned in projects in the past using like a physical scale model. However, now that we live kind of in a virtual world, um, I want to show you a platform in which you can still turn that same physical model in, but using a really cool uh, platform that they actually use in GIS classes in college. So what you'll do, is uh, go to sketchup.com, S-K-E-T-C-H-U-P.com. And what you should be able to do is start a free 30-day trial. And so what you can do, and yes, it'll save directly to your drive, and they're not going to require any credit card numbers or anything like that. Hit try SketchUp. And then you put it in, you'll put in whatever it is you're using SketchUp for. So we'll say primary and secondary. Let's get going. And as you go through this, you just have to fill out this information. Is your school enrolled in G, G, Suite, for, G Suite for Education? Yes. What is your role? Um, I'll take your role. Let's say I'm a student, and let's try to sketch up for schools. You'll get this little red icon. And uh, wait for it to load for a moment. So I'm going to sign in with Google. Boom. Okay, so it's going to say start modeling. You can also look at how it says Google Drive, imports and exports, and it kind of just set gives you this very open um, kind of page, essentially. It's like a landing page. So you can either take a tour of all of the stuff that it has to offer. You can look at the curriculum of like how to do some things. I personally prefer to do things on my own and start modeling. And so what you ver the very first thing you see is kind of this gray, grayish blob of just land in the, this horizon with this sky. And then, of course, this person with either a very tasteful or very ugly shirt based on what you think. I personally find it very ugly, but some individuals may like it. You can scroll in and out by if you take your two fingers and you just move, do this on the on the mouse, you can zoom in and out. That is actually very close. Um and what you'll see is that this individual right here is to use as a scale reference for you. So when you are designing and actually building things on, on this land, this individual right here is to kind of show you, okay, if someone in real life was like walking around, let's say they're a six foot, six foot tall guy, um, this is in, in respect how big your building is compared to that one individual. All right. So, um, You've all seen the physical examples of what students have done in the past where they've actually kind of built the businesses and kind of represented them in different ways. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just title this. And I'm going to say a model name. Uh, let's call it Building Blocks Project 4 or Part 4. I'll hit OK. It'll save it to my Google Drive. I can put it anywhere I want. So let's say I'm going to put it in uh, fall 2020. Let's put it in economics. And let's say teaching materials. Uh, let's do building box project. And uh, there's no items in this folder. Interesting. And so now it's going to make it a folder in that project uh, in that folder. So when I click on that folder and drive, it should come up with uh, it should say SketchUp for schools or something like that. So it saves it automatically saves it to my drive. Now, when you're looking around, in order to be able to know how to do this, you have to like play around a little bit on your own. I'm going to move this up here. But here's an eraser. This right here is your paint. This right here is like a pencil. This is your arc. It helps you figure out kind of like the angle. A lot of this stuff, this is used for GIS stuff in college. So a lot of these things you may not even need to use. Um, but here is kind of drawing a shape and text as well. Here's how to raise and lower the different um, shapes. And That's basically as much as you need at the current moment, need to know at least for this. And then in order to like kind of change your view, you can just move this around. You click on the bottom left here, right here, and you
and you change this around like this and it allows you to move on multiple angles and you can kind of even start to build underground if that was something you really wanted to do so maybe you wanted to build a bunker just for the heck of it you could i wouldn't say no so let's look at this further on the right hand side you have a different set of tools at your disposal first you have materials you have uh, different options if you click on this little uh what do you call that? Um, search bar. What is that called? The magnifying lens. If you look at, if you're looking at the magnifying lens, you can, or you click on it, you can see how it has 3D printing. It has different texts uh, or um, materials, as also well as like fabrics, brick, clay, cladding, and siding, um, colors, fabrics, leathers, textiles, and wallpaper, glasses and mirrors, landscape, fencing, and vegetation. And if you look around, you can. The thing that I like about this is that it really encourages you just to play around and see what you can do. Um, you can literally build anything you want, um, and you can also use the different links I provided for you in the introduction to our digital tools module to be able to figure out how you want to do this. So, first, let's just build a few things and let's play around with it. Okay, so first, go to this drawing. I'm sorry, go to this little rectangle right here. It's midway between. You can do a rectangle a rotated rectangle, a circle, like a polygon. It can be any up to any number of sides, and then this is your text. So let me show you how to do this. So at first, let's just draw like a parking lot, right? Because we're supposed to be um, kind of designing this new area that's going to be where it's going to be next to the antique mall. So let's get started. First, let me rotate my screen. It makes it easier to think about it this way because you because you can go below you kind of have to be careful about how you do this but i'm going to do a rectangle i'm gonna start at this endpoint right here and let's say okay now i've got it and let's say i want the area to be i know it's going to be a little bit more than that so let's let's do this right here and then I'm zooming in and out Okay, so let me erase this right here. Or let me delete it. Okay, in order to delete it, you have to click on the mouse. You click on that item, and then you just delete it. You can click on lines and delete it. And so what I'm going to do is delete that rectangle because I don't like it. And so I've zoomed out a lot. So what I can do is go to the rectangle, click here. And then from this point right here, build a much larger parking lot or basically area that I'm going to be developing. And let's say that I want to make it asphalt. So I'll go over here to this little magnifying lens with a building. I'll go to 3D, the little magnifying lens right here, 3D printing, asphalt, and concrete. So then I can put this here and basically color the entire square. Um, and so I, if you get really close, you can kind of see how well they try to do a very detailed uh, drawing but if you look far away it looks just like a anything really ordinary so there's that let's build a building so i'm going to go back to over here to this draw rectangle because most buildings are squarish uh, you may also do a circle too you can maybe do a dome all right so now i'm actually drawing the rectangle on top of the asphalt and let's say that this is going to be one of my buildings so what i need to do is go over and where it says on edge i need to figure out how am i playing around with this to raise it or lower it. And so if you go over here and you click up and then you move your mouse up, you can kind of raise the building higher or lower depending on what you want to do. So let's say I want to make it a skyscraper. I could do that up as well. I may have to get a little closer. All right, so there's that building. And let's say I want to build my other ones. Um, we have to, it's kind of annoying to where you have to click multiple times to try to get the same thing, but it still allows you to do some cool things. So let's go back here. Let's lift it up a little bit, make it a different height. Let's say it's a smaller business. Let's say we have another one right next door, probably like right here. So you have to kind of uh, connect it on 
an edge. You have to like act as if you're you either make a point or you connect to a line. So then we'll go here. Let's raise it up. Let's say it's kind of like a smaller but still medium business. And if you wanted to, you could actually build a whole city right here. But you only have to do four businesses for this project. So we'll do this. And let's do another business right around here. Let's make it super small. Actually, let's do a circle. So if I want to delete it, I go back up to the mouse. I click on that line. And so ultimately, I can delete the shape by just backspacing or deleting the line. So then let's go to the shapes. Let's say I want to do a circle. Maybe I want um, like the Capitol building in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's the um, only dome-shaped Capitol building in the entire country. So now I've got my circle. Let's raise it up a little bit because why not? And what we have here is a modern skyscraper. Let's say it's the most important business or maybe it's some kind of massive mall that's takes up multiple floors, like in the Magnificent Mile in Chicago. And now if I pan around, you can kind of see what my what my city or my, my uh, redevelopment plot is starting to look like. So how should this look? One, that's up to you. But let's say that I want to start kind of putting different siding on parts of the building. Let's say I just, I'm just going to do one to keep this video short. But let's say, let's say I pick this business right here. Let's say it's... Um, Let's say it's uh, off. It's a Coke manufacturing plant. Coke is a member of an oligopoly, and then that firm structure. This would be maybe a um, not a smaller business, but would definitely be among several other type so several other types. But you would basically be able to choose. Okay, how is this is an example of a market structure. How exactly, how exactly is this an example of a firm structure and what would employment look like here? here. So as I get into this, let's say I'm only going to do this one right here. I am going to go to the materials where it says entity F info. Go through and I'm going to think, okay, what kind of texture do I want on the outside? The outside of this building, if this is a Coke warehouse, is going to have most likely a brick. So I'm just going to go through and do this and then I can just move around. Go back, click that same brick. I think it was this one. And again, it, it sometimes it's a little bit annoying because you have to like move around, rotate just to do the same thing that you want to do all around the building. But I still think it's really cool. All right. So then, if you zoom in really close, you can kind of see how it has like like bricks all around. And so that's what that would look like in real life. And again, this person over here for reference. This guy over here is your six feet tall guy. So you can kind of see as a, as a, as a whole, these buildings are relatively massive. Okay. So but we'll say that. Now let's say I want to just do a door. So I have some kind of entryway. What are people going to come in? And since this is a relatively moderately sized building, I know it's going to probably have about two doors at least. So I'll probably just go along the side here, click it draw one okay that's probably about the size it would be i'll go next door and draw another door okay it's trying to find it okay let's fix this Okay, so now I have another rectangle. And so what I can do is, maybe I don't like that part right there, so I'll just go here. Now that I have my two doors, I'll just delete the rest of the stuff that I don't need. So now they're irregularly shaped, and you can play around and fix it if you'd like. But let's just say I'm going to go to, I don't need that category, glasses and mirrors. Let's say I want some windows as well, so I'll do some... I'll do some smaller rectangles along the side right here. Let's say I just want a massive window to kind of decorate the place. 
make it all nice. And then what I can do is I can add some glass texture to it. So this is an example of a window. Oh. Okay, so now that's kind of an example of a window. And so that's kind of what it looks like on the outside. Now let's say I have my door. You can also uh, decorate the interior of these if you'd like. I'm not going to go that deep because, again, the scale model is just showing the exterior of the buildings. But what you can do is you can either keep this as a ceiling or keep this as a roof, my bad. Uh, you can also add in a name. So let's say I go to this little back where I was drawing the rectangles. I'm also going to do this right here. And then what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to type the name. Let's say it's uh, Sanders Bottling Plant, if it's like a Coke warehouse or something. But, you know, i got to have my name on it. You know, credit. Got to self-promote, as they say. All right, so now I have that name, that word that I just typed out. I'm, I have it right here. But what I can do, first I'll delete it because I don't like that. But what I, when you type it, you can put the height as whatever you want. And let's say that the height's going to be uh, 10. Let's say Sanders. All right, so now we have our name. And so now when you, when you click on the outside, you can kind of see how it's like that. So now it's Sanders bottling plant has the business and you can put windows all around. You can do whatever you want just to decorate the business. I'm